Welcome back to CVM at Sunrise. This morning we talk about a book entitled Junior's Hope, Thoughts on, Imp Thoughts on Improving from Up the Street. It's a self-help book where the author examines dance hall culture and more. We welcome Donovan Watkins, the author. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. How are you Thank doing? you. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. Well, I mean, self-help. Tell us about your experience and what made you, make, made you um, write a book like this. Well, I was on a, a flight from L.A. Um, I was invited to Hollywood, me, myself, along with the then film commissioner, Carl Beckford. And while in L.A., all of Hollywood came out and it was such a remarkable experience. And as I was on my way back to Jamaica, I was in the plane, ease back, because it's a long flight, about seven hours to get to Jamaica. And I was there sitting, I was about to drink, the, the, <laughs> the arrows that served me. And I realized that the life I'm living now is a direct result of my beliefs and my hope. Like I imagined that exact moment in a plane from Hollywood, experiencing Hollywood, making movies, um, making deals, making moves. Wow. So I decided to write a book about my life, my experience in believing in myself and having the hopeful outlook. Okay, so tell us about the title. What was the decision behind that, Junior's Hope? My workable title was not JR's Hope. Um, my workable title was Success Equals Persistence, Education, and Purpose. Mm -hmm. S equals EP square. And I thought I was too intellectual and mathematical <laughs> yeah. for the regular quite, man. So um, after having a conversation with um, Dr. Sonia Naya, who also endorsed the book, um, she said, Make it simple. Jarrah's hope. Because okay. the book is about my hopeful outlook on life. That did a trick. Tell us, is this your first book? This is my first published book. I've written, I've been writing for quite some time. I've written plays. I've written a, a nice body of work, which I will release in later days. But this is my first internationally published book. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations you. Congratulations on that, Donovan. But tell me, what is it that you hope that the reader will take from JR's Hope? Well, JR's Hope is a book about beliefs. So I'm from Portland. I grew up in a house mm -hmm. that had a leaking roof and a leaking floor. Mm -hmm. So when it rained, I had water coming up from the river inside the house and had water coming from, from the, the roof. Heavens. To this day, I love the sunshine better than the rain. <laughs> so coming from that to moving up in my career as I've been and influencing many people, I've taught over 5,000 people, including your co-host, Renee. Oh, really? Yes. What did you teach her? You should ask her. I hope she learned something. <laughs> but I've, I've taught many people and, and I've, I've guided the careers of a couple of people, mm -hmm. including my own. And to make that journey from Portland to Hollywood, oh my. Um, I want persons to understand that the, the only way to do that is to one, believe in yourself and continuously change and improve those beliefs. Yeah. Because as we move along in life, we need to improve thoughts in culture, improve our beliefs in ourselves, improve our beliefs on family, marriage, fatherhood, all of that. Father's Day coming up. Um, how many of us as fathers are representing as the hero in our families? Mm -hmm. Like that needs to be a part of culture. Right. We need to understand that children need that heroic figure mm -hmm. and the father not only the father but the mother too mm -hmm. need to play that role there's a there's a story i mentioned in my book about the left behind children in china uh -huh. where there are four there are 60 million children who are often are left with older unintelligent parents mm -hmm. grandparents Relatives. sorry mm -hmm. who are not able to give them the knowledge they need and these parents leave and go to the urban areas in china to seek work the children that are left behind, statistics show that 40 million of them are insane. So the heroic wow. figure missing from their life right. caused them insanity. Yeah. Now, that's not far from us. We have a lot of barrel kids are you in them Jamaica. Insane? Some of them are. <laughs> <laughs> but not, only, not just insane, not just insanity. But if you miss the, the, in, in your most impressionable years, if the hero is not in your life, if you don't have examples to follow and to lead you, you might be at a, a, 
a, a disadvantage than those who have the hero in their All life. Right. It sounds like we it's a must read. Tell it us is. where we can find a book. You, it's available now on Amazon for pre-order. It will be on Barnes and Nobles and your local bookstore. Call the bookstores, ask them for it. And you can you check it out on jrshope.com. The website will be up soon. JR's Hope. What an inspiration. What a story from Portland to Hollywood. Thanks for joining us this morning. Mm -hmm.